In today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to set up the Radiolink A10 transmitter. First step, we're going to have to power on the transmitter button in the middle. It takes us to this screen. This screen is kind of our home screen. It shows us what kind of model we have, um, the voltage of the receiver, uh, what voltage of our uh, transmitter here. This is our cursor. So this kind of moves us in between different menus. This is like our selector button. And then you has a push function. That's for selecting and then kind of changing selection. Our mode takes us into different modes. And then end is kind of like an exit button. So first I'll show you. If we hit end here, we can see what all of our switches and our channels are doing. So as we can see here, when I change the sticks, our channels change, or if I change a dip switch, you can see how the values of those change. To get out of that, you hit end twice. It brings us back to our home screen here. If I select mode and hold it, it'll take us into our menu here. And then there's two different menu screens. You have this one here, and then you hit mode again, and then you have this one, you have different things that you can set in here, like servo delays and different stuff. So to get back to the other one, we just hit mode again. The first screen, or the first, I guess, um, this is our parameter menu. So this will kind of set like what we have, um, English, like if we have a different voltage for our transmitter, this will show us set off an alarm when our voltage reaches below that, uh, our lock screen, how long it takes before the buttons um, and menus lock on the transmitter, uh, sound, the name of the transmitter, our backlight, that kind of stuff that we can set on the transmitter itself. To exit that, we just hit end. Here we have model select, just kind of what we want to call it, like if we want to change what we have, our model type, like we have a car now, we can change it to like a gyro uh, copter, boat type or whatever, but we'll just leave it in a car. Our endpoints are where our channels will stop. So if we want like we'll reverse to be slower, which is how I have what I'm controlling set up. I have where I'm controlling channels one and two on my sticks here and as we can see when we move it it changes in between there's channel two and then if we use our cursor move back up to channel one we can see so i'm going to change this so that my reverse is slower so we don't go as fast oh that's the wrong one Change this down to 65 to match the other one. And then as you can see, we can use our scroll wheel to adjust that. Our reverse is how we can reverse, like say our channel is going or our motor. If we want to reverse it so it spins the right way, you just go over here and then you use your cursor wheel to change it. And we'll just leave it the way it is. Over here we have our auxiliary channels. So this is how we can set up which channels go to what switches and what sticks. So we have stick one and one and two and three and four over here. So I have stick two is channel one and then stick three is channel two. Um, you can have different switches do different channels and turn on different uh, outputs on your receiver and then we'll get into how we program two speeds so that way we can have tight maneuvering um, and then faster more wide open maneuvering so we go into the dr menu here so this is the way i have one channel already set up so I have it, as we can see, when I move the stick, it'll show us and run through 
what we have. So the way I have it is I have it on switch A, this one here, and as we can see, it's changing its state and telling us what it is. Um, I have it when it's up, we get 100% at kind of a slow ramp. And then when I have it, the switch off, I have it, we only get 60% of our full speed and then just at a linear ramp. So we're gonna change that, change channel two to match that. So we'll go down here, we can select which switch we want down here and we'll go switch A to match. And then we'll go, as we can see with our cursor, we can, we'll do the slow part first. So all we gotta do is just drop this down to 60 to match our channel one, and then go to our up, and then we'll go drop this down to negative 100 for our slow ramp so that way we don't have all the power right at once and it makes it more controllable that's it thank you